Hello everybody, today's episode will be about controlling saturation in Photoshop. Quite often in Photoshop you run into the problem where the colors get very much saturated, not that much you would like to. So uh, there's a way that you can control it and it's very very easy and in this episode I would like to show it how you do it. So first of all let's jump into the Photoshop. Uh, you have here and uh, one of my previous image that I would like to increase the saturation. Let's say that I would like to have it very, very, very bright. For some reason, I would like to have a control. Uh, let's assume that it generally it looks how I want it, but in fact there is some areas that are over saturated. How to identify those areas and how to deal with them? It's very simple. You just have to create a selective color layer and set first all of those layers, blacks to, ze to zero for all of the colors, sorry. All colors to zero, blacks, and um, make sure that the setting at the bottom here is for absolute, not relative. It's a bit different re results and that we are going for. And for whites, for Oh, sorry for whites for neutrals and for blacks we are setting it for 100 percent this way you can see the whole saturation um, values between 0 and 255 um, as a layer black white layer so whatever is more white it's more saturated whatever is closer to black is less saturated so you can see by enabling or disabling the layer that already we can see that the whole images get more white. And there are some areas, for example, the crown areas or the lips area that are very, very saturated. Probably would like to get rid of it. So I just create a different saturation layer for that. Turn down the saturation and make sure that the alpha channel is black and then apply it away white with some opacity set to 10%, for example and try to take down those uh, over saturated areas. So in this case, it should be look like that. It's very simple to control and it's much, much better uh, to see the areas that are not that obvious, especially in the shadow areas. For that, I will probably create a different, completely different episode about controlling saturation in the shadows area but I mostly use this technique for doing it. So that would be it. I will also, of course, the selective color layer you can also put as a action. I will also try to add this action direct to this uh, video. So you can also use that in the Photoshop, but it's simply as, as that. Mm, if you like it, please share or like. And I'm open for comments from you and questions from your side. Just comment it directly the, below the video. So thank you for watching and have a good day.